Okay, I'm just gonna show you quickly now how we can change the appearance of our QR card, set these up, etc. So we've already set up our job, points one to four. Um, and then once we save that, it's gonna bring us through to our QR cards tab here. So let's just take a quick look. There we go. Now, before I'm gonna generate these, I'm actually gonna just check the appearance, make sure that I'm happy with how these are looking. And uh, yeah, if there's any necessary changes needing made, we can do that now. So hit edit QR card layout, you'll see the little bit of blue text there. We'll get this pop-up appearing now and we can select which layout to use. I'm gonna stick with the A5 Kids in Neutral. This is our most up-to-date, the best performing one. So uh, yeah, I'd suggest that you do the same. You can scroll down to the bottom here and you'll see that we get to the section to select a background. Obviously, if you're doing a school shoot um, or a nursery shoot, you can change this to match. Um, so that's fine. And again, we can also pop our logo on here. So again, I'm just gonna grab the Got Photo logo that I'd uploaded before, and that's now gonna appear on the QR card. Obviously, you're gonna put your logo on there. You're not gonna put ours, so that's fine. And again, we've got the option here to add your phone number and your email. It is debatable as to whether or not you wanna do that. Um, the reason is that because the way that the QR cards are functioning, the parents are gonna go into the shop and they're gonna see a contact form in there. So if they do need to get in touch with you, probably better that they've logged into the shop at least before they're reaching out to you. However, feel free to put your details on there if you do want to. Again, we can just take a quick look at the advanced settings here. Now, again, if you're maybe running the uh, the online shop as part of your own website, you would need to put your own website in here because, again, our .gotphoto.co.uk URL is maybe not going to apply. Of course, it'll still take them to the shop, but, again, if you want to run the traffic through your own site, this is a consideration. Again, this might not apply to you, but if it does, do keep that in mind. Again, with the output format, you can decide here whether or not you want to run it as one per page um, or two. So if you've got the, the means for an A5 printer, great. Um, and also, yeah, if you're going to be doing a names list, then we have the option for stack sorting. So again, this just means that we'll have all of the, the sheets uh, coming out to do a page. But of course, if we're going to cut them down the middle, um, we don't want to have to reorganize everything. So what we're going to do is basically have everything stack sorted. So we're just going to cut it down the center. The first half goes on top of the second and the cards are then in order based on the list that you've uploaded. Now again, I just wanted to clear up um, this little section about editing the QR card. So hope that is clear enough. I'm just gonna save the settings that we've made there. And the last step then is just to generate these. So I'm gonna generate those now. And again, once that's done, you'll be able to download those from the list and print them out ready to take to your shoot. So that's it for today. And um, yep, I hope that helped you. Thanks again for listening. Thank you so much for checking out this instructional video. We do appreciate though that you may still require some assistance. If this is the case, pay attention now to the details on screen and feel free to get in touch.